Chinese company Uptech has created Alpha Robot, a new intelligent robot companion used for everyday needs. We are specializing in robotics, uh, intelligent robotics, home service uh, robot. The company was established uh, three years ago, but we do the research and development for over six years, and that is since 2008 we, uh, we do the research. The central system is installed in the Alpha Second generation, and uh, uh, it's, it's a quite a plat open platform to every software de developer. Uh, I think it's a uh, it's a kind of a mobile uh, terminal, another another mobile terminal. Uh, people who are interested in uh, control ro robot product can you can use the develop their own software and install in our robot and let robot do whatever they want. The robot can basically can sing and dance, and you can use your voice uh, to com voice command to order uh, everything, uh, and other things he, he can do, and uh, he. he uh, he is a companion and a partner and your friend. You can talk with him and share your experience. Robot is available right now in China and it's online or we have retail distributors in China. But now we are we are launching our new product in the US and European as well as around the globe. California-based company Double Robotics designed a robot that can have your face on it, yet with a very different bottom. Robotics is a telepresence robot company. So what we do is we make a device that allows you to have a robotic double in some other location. So personally, I live in New York, but I work in California every day. I have a robot with my name on it, and I can go to meetings, talk to my boss, hang out at the water cooler, like whatever I want to do. It's like I'm there, but I'm not physically there. It's basically a segue on a stick with an iPad on top. It's, it's relatively simple. So it's a gyroscope that keeps it balanced, and then you can actually raise the iPad up and down. And the iPad uh, handles all the communication and the video. So my face is on the robot uh, in California. Home, uh, it's either the arrow keys on your uh, keyboard or on an iPad or an iPhone. And just up, down, left, right. My, my favorite one so far is I helped a, a in Stanford, there was a hospital that has a school in the hospital, and a 14-year-old girl who had heart problems couldn't go to school, even though it was a short distance away, because she was tied to her bed. So they had the unit in the school, she had the iPad at her bed, and she could go to class, she could meet other kids who were in the hospital with her, and she could, she could experience school without actually having to like it, it didn't endanger her health, it didn't change how she did it, but she could she could participate. She had a range of motion that she didn't have before, which was great. These intelligent robots are coming our way in 2015, and soon we might all have a robot friend of our own. Reporting from Las Vegas, I'm Justin Soto.